Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to everyone. As I promised to you, uh, today we are going to discuss and focus on the literature in action and as I mentioned earlier, we are going to focus on the poem entitled My Hero by Willis Hall. Okay, at first we are going to talk about the poet. Okay, his name is Willis J. Edward Hall, born in 6 April 1929 and died on 7 March 2005. He was an English playwright and radio, television and also a film writer. Okay, next he also produced more than 250 scripts for theatre, film and also a television. Next, Hall also wrote more than a dozen children's books. Sorry. Uh, there's a typing error there. Okay, next we continue. Okay, I'm going to read uh, for you the synopsis. I hope that you can uh, refer to your textbook on page. Okay, this one, this textbook. 27. Okay, this one. As you read the poems, I'm going to read for you the synopsis. Okay. So, there are four stanzas all together for the poem. Okay, the first one, My dad is as brave as a dad can be. I read him number one. He is not afraid of the dead of night or anything under the sun. Okay, so this, the poem is basically about the persona's father. The persona believes his father is a very brave person and he is a very proud of his father. At the beginning of the poem, if you notice, he says how his father is not afraid of anything. Therefore, to the persona or the, the, the one who recite the poem, his dad is always be the number one father. Okay, or number one hero. Okay, next. Second stanza. He is not afraid of a late night film. Full of horrors on the tally. And is he afraid of skeletons? Not that, not on your nelly. What's the meaning by the word not on your nelly? Okay, according to the Cambridge University or Cambridge.com, Cambridge not on your nelly is an idiom uh, which is uh, also explained as the no way. Nor that, no way you are afraid of skeletons. All the horror movies, all the scary things, all the dead can encounter. Okay, that's the meaning. Ah, next for the stanza three, okay, he is not afraid of meeting ghosts. He would even smile and greet them. And things that scare most deaths the most, my dad could just defeat them. Well, okay, so the persona goes on to recount how his dad is not afraid of horror movies or skeletons. Just now I mentioned about this. Neither is he afraid of supernatural creatures and monsters such as ghosts, vampires, were werewolf and a Frankenstein's monster. In fact, he will bravely defeat things that scare other fathers. Okay, what are the other fathers afraid of? Many things. Okay, but then his father is considered a hero. Next, furthermore, his dad is ready to prove his courage whenever he asks. Okay. The last two lines of the poems, however, the persona asks curiously. Okay, let me uh, read on the stanzas first. He, my dad's as brave as a dad can be, and he is always ready to prove it. So why, when a spider's in the bath, does mom have to come and remove it? This means his brave father is afraid of spiders. Instead of he is not afraid of the, those kinds of horror uh, creatures such as monster or ghost or vampire, okay, the father still got his, his weaknesses, which is he is afraid of spiders. Okay, so let's move. Okay, uh, now here you can see the setting. Okay, settings in Basin Mayu uh, means latar. Okay, there's uh, no uh, specific time setting for the poem i bet that it happens in the everyday routine okay but then uh, there will be a place setting okay and the only place mentioned in this poem is in the bathroom okay 
And then the poem appears to be set in the present as it mentioned that the father watches late night television. Okay, as mentioned in stanza 2. Next. Okay, themes. Okay, tema untuk uh, puisi ini. There are three themes as you can see. The first one, parents must tell the truth to their children. Okay, the father in the poem pretends to be very brave. However, in reality, he is not as brave as uh, he pretended to be. Okay. Second one, present day children cannot be easily tricked. Who are the present day children? You are. Okay. So, due to the, the, the technological advancement and development, children nowadays are more aware of what is happening around them, right? Okay. Next. Heroes exist in our everyday lives too. Okay. So, we are all heroes. Okay. Next. Moral values. Okay, the moral values that we can take or we can get from the poem, there are two moral values as stated here. The first one, we should always be honest. Who? Okay, in this situation, the father in the poem need to be honest to their children. Okay, uh, because soon the children will realize his father may not as brief as they um, predict to. Okay, second one, we should always be humble. Okay. What does it mean? The child seems to have more respect for his mother because even though she never claims to be brave, but the mother is the one who removed the spider from the bath, okay, instead of his father. Okay, that's all from me for the poem entitled My Hero. Okay, so, okay, at the end of the lesson, be a hero of yourself.